Hello there. Welcome to Intermediate Fiddle Lesson number four. Okay, double stops and the key of G and maybe the odd slide. So let's have a look. We're playing in the key of G. So you start on the G string. Okay, you're working your way up from the bottom. And then you carry on from onto the A string. So you've got up to the next G. That's one octave, two octaves. So on the fiddle, we've got two octaves of G, which are quite straightforward and easy to get hold of. So fiddle tunes sound great in the key of G. Of course the banjo players love it because their natural tuning tends to be in the key of G. So let's have a look at this tune. We've just covered the um, scale of G. The only thing about G is there's one sharp, so it's nice and simple. That's the F. That's F. Second note on the um, D string. One below the G. There's the G, and the F is just below it, it's an F sharp. If you were playing with no sharps and, and um, flats, you would be playing a C, nat um, rather an F natural. But that's the F sharp. And there's another F sharp on the E string, the first note. Okay, the F natural on the E string would sound like this. Quite useful because if we do slides we'll be going from an F natural to an F sharp. So it's worth to know knowing where those notes actually are and that trying to develop your intonation. In other words, placing your fingers in the correct place on the fingerboard to make the notes sound roughly where they should be. Anyway, this tune, um, double stops first of all. First one is on the E string. We play the G. Okay, that's the second note in on the E string. And we play the first note on the A string, which is a B. That one. And we play the two together. The bow isn't too taut. That way it means I can press down not too hard, but I can quite easily play two strings together and get the volume of each string sounding right. Okay. Now there's a little riff between that and the next set of double stops. It's this. Well, let's play that again. I start on the E string, second note. Again. Okay, that connects us to the next double stop, which is on the A string, and it's a natural C, and on the D string, it's the first note in, which is actually the E. So it's pretty much a mirror image of the previous double stop, we've just moved down one string. So let's play the first double stop and then that little connecting passage 
So ready? Three, four. Now the next double stop, and guess what follows? It's exactly the same tune, it's just played down a string. Play it again. So from the top, let's start with the very first double stop again. Three, four. Again. Again from the top. Three, four. Next double stop. Right, so the next part. I'll play that again. So from the very top, double stop, three, four. So we start on the double stop and we finish on the double stop. So from the top, three, four. So let's just have a look at that double stop again. We can do this. Remember me talking about that natural on the E string, that F natural. It's one little space up from the E. Now we can start there and we go up from the F natural to the F sharp. playing it with my middle finger so I'm sliding up with my middle finger on the E string now that was a double stop I should have started with so I start with my middle finger and slide up from the F natural but then I bring my first finger down onto the, um, the B flat So you get a nice slide in there on that double stop, which always sounds good. So three, four. I suppose we could do one on that A, A and D string. Let's try it. So from the top again, from the E and the B. a bit tricky personally I probably would just play the first slide and leave the second one out so from the top oh and there's also another slide there um, 
and it's the um, the D. I slide up from the C sharp. That's on the A string. Use my ring finger, and I'm going from the sort of the second, the um, the C sharp, with my ring finger, and I slide up to the D. So from the top, three, four. See another slide there I introduced on the E string. So there's another slide there worth thinking about. And slides. When should you play them? When shouldn't you play them? You please yourself. This is fiddle music, don't forget. It's down to your style, your preference. I think that's the great thing about fiddle music. It's not written down. Nobody's telling you what you should play. You may get an indication of the tune from the notation, a rough guide, but then it's down to you how you interpret it. You don't need to play it exactly the same way as everybody else or, well, within reason, of course, if you're playing in a session, it might be preferable if you do, but you can... Um, style these tunes exactly the way you want because it's your individual style that's important with fiddle music. So that's enough of the theory anyway let's crack on. So we'll start again and I'll slide this time into that double stop. Three, four... <laughs> some more double stops there's, there's another one there it's the D and the F sharp that's on the, um, um, the A string and the E string and that comes in here Just to be fancy, you can finish off like this, go down to the G string and then whip across up to that double stop. It's quite effective that. Um, I noticed a lot of classical musicians seem to do that. It's quite nice. So let's play it again. Three, and we'll include that fancy bit at the end. Three, four. fun. I hope it was enjoyable for you. Um, with the intermediate fiddle lessons I'll probably start to concentrate on individual things like this just pointing things out to you that might be in of interest and fun to try out and you'll pick up and learn things as we go along of course. I'm not going to spend too much time on musical notation but I will work out the musical notation for this and either put it on this video or drop it into the community section with a link in the video description below. But once again, thank you for watching. I hope this is enjoyable for you and useful. And um, keep on fiddling.
<laughs> Just fun. Bye now.